Okay. So my father is on the way to Florida. So we have a special guest today doing a daily thread. What's up, daily thread? Ers, daily threaders. Daily threaders. You know what a thread is? Yeah. What, what's a thread, Morty? A thread is like, you know, a thread is, is information. Oh, you're like, you're part of like Gen Z now. Um, I guess. Welcome to the show. So uh, let's go through some stories. Can you tell me. Are you okay? Are you, are you I'm ner- good. Are you nervous? I, just, I don't really know. You know, Naki texted me for all you watching and listening. Yeah, I think I How many up. people are watching and listening? Like I want seven. the real numbers. I think seven. Seven people? Seven, including maybe your <laughs> wife and kids. <laughs> She's not watching this. <laughs> She'll watch this, no? Seven. No, really. How many people? Uh, a few thousand. A few thousand. I think like, like four or five thousand people on a daily basis. How so. many people watch? How many people listen? Um, I think more people listen on Apple and Spotify versus watch. So, yeah. And this is, let me just, let me just make one thing clear. This is not meaningful minute, nothing to do with it or it's it, cousins. It's, it's like, a, I just want to make sure this is not going to be meaningful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm joking. it's no, it's, it's like a child. It's like a new infant. We're bringing it. So, so the goal of daily less- threads. The goal of serious? Daily Thread is, yeah, definitely less serious, but the goal of the Daily Thread is to sort of bring uh, sort of lifestyle conversations and news stories to the public in a very, um, but kind of a thick way without them having to see like things maybe they don't want to see, hmm. but like to be contemporary and we could discuss things that people have on their minds, like, yeah. like, 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 like the Shidduch system or sh- like oh. ECAP. I was going to talk about parking. Like what's up with parking? What's up with parking? Well, you're People mu- move out to the five towns. Yeah. I mean, I'm a Muncie boy, but like... Muncie, you could park anywhere. Anywhere. You could pull up on a top of a hill. Well, the truth is, if you go to like some of the, you know, Evergreen, it, it could get a little hectic it's over there. It's a big parking lot. Yeah, that's true. But like, why is it so busy here? Central Avenue in the five towns. Not enough, not enough Does parking. anybody work? Well, that's a good question. And everyone's at ECAP now. You guys so. got to <laughs> see this. I, I got to like take a video of what's going on here because... We'll use that video, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing. It took me like... It took me like 10 minutes to find parking. That's the greatest thing, though. I get to see people who park, and they are terrible at parking. Some people take two spots sometimes. Terrible. I probably can't say this, but... You're about to make a woman parking joke? Yeah. I just think there are also more women in our community than men. That's why there's a shit crisis, no? Could be. Could be. That that brings us to to our first story, which is a really interesting one. I wonder what you think about this. This is uh, via Vin News. A New York Satmar philanthropist and an Israeli rabbi team up to give $5,000 shatchanis for every boy over 22 that gets engaged. Wow. So this is in Israel, and a move to try to solve the shidduch crisis in Hasidic yeshivas in Israel. A benefactor of the Arisi yeshiva in Jerusalem opened a special office that's adjacent to the yeshiva. He's offering $5,000 for every shatchan who succeeds in making a shidduch for any boy over 22. Interesting. Is that like, I guess that sort of maybe will encourage more people to make shidduchim for yeah, boys over 22. But let's say a boy comes to your office and says, hey, I'm 19. You're dead to me. <laughs> like out of here. Right. Twenty two and above, I get the money. Right. I don't want to make a shit for someone who's twenty. I don't know much about the shit system. My kids are still young and uh, certainly not in Israel. And you you didn't go through the shit system, it sounded um, like. Right. I didn't. <laughs> Is that did I was that public information? I I think it was. I don't think so. No? It's okay. What's what's still gonna happen? Your wife's gonna it is what it is. You know? What's like what's you met your wife, great. Baruch Hashem. Yeah. It's awesome. That's I just don't know. Who, I don't know who's listening and what I, what I can and, and can't say. That's you think something's wrong with saying that you met your wife. I think that some people might judge the situation and that's, think that I'm less religious. That's on them, though. Yeah, that's true. Do you think you were ever less religious than you are now? Yeah. So. So the, so. So then, what's wrong with it? You're saying right, like as long as I'm. We're all Baltruvas, right? Fair enough. We're, we're, we just, we just, I think. Listen, bro- I grew up modern Orthodox. Okay. So, so yeah, I uh, own it. I, I, I definitely do not know uh, anything really about the, the shidduch system. Oh, you're going to learn. What I understand it's intense. You're going to learn. You know, my kids are in Beis Yaakov, so they, they will, they will be going through that system. Um, what's in, why not? 5,000 bucks. Try to encourage. I feel like that's low though. It does sound a little low, but maybe right. not, maybe not in Israel. Um, I don't know. I I, I think that sh- there's a there's a there's there's a big problem with shaduchim nowadays because like shadchanim are sort of I don't I don't I'm like dancing around this a little bit because I don't want to say anything that's gonna insult anybody but 
the uh, it could be perceived that they're fighting for the one percent. You know, like they're they're working for the big names to get because that pays very well when you make a shidduch. So what about everyone else? You know, right? So I think this system, everyone who's over twenty two years old, doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. The shotgun's gonna get taken care of. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe they adapt that. In like I said, I can't. I can't really comment on. On I don't know if shotgunim are. Look at you being disciplined. No, I. I, I just don't know. I'm just right. like ignorant in in this, uh, on this topic. I told you when you invited me. You're like, yes, yeah, daily thread. We talk about topics. I'm like, I don't know. What do you know? Stuff. What do you know? I don't know much. You know music, right? I know music a little bit. Do you do you actually like know music, or are you just uh, yeah a little bit. Okay, that's something. <laughs> Do you know that there was um, another flight? <laughs> there, where was it? What airline was it? This morning again. United, Delta. It's a woman that passed out on the plane. Guess who saves her? I saw another that. one this wow. morning. I saw that. I'm so in the know. You ever? Get, you ever <laughs> wow! Look at you. You ever get kicked off a plane? Uh, can I say I would peg you as someone that might get kicked <laughs> off a flight? <laughs> that's 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 horrible. <laughs> Is that insulting? Um, I, you know, I don't think I could answer the question here. You got kicked off. No, I didn't. You said you don't think you could answer the question. I think. Okay. In the middle of COVID. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. You were one of those people. I. You know what? Okay. I, Let's hear it. I was one of these people that they said, as long as you're eating, you don't got to wear the mask. I was eating the whole time. And you, you happen to like eating. And I, I happen to like eating. Yeah. And I, I wasn't like, you know. I don't think I was being obnoxious. Okay. But every time she was walking by, I was, I was just feeding some pretzels in my mouth. And you like pretzels. What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with it. Was that breaking the rules? I don't think so. So she told me once, I see you every time I walk by, you throw pretzels in your mouth. And I was like, no, I'm just hungry, you know? Pretzel please. And then she came back and, and she kind of threatened me. Really? Yeah. So you didn't get thrown off. But it was close. I did not get thrown off. I don't know how close it oh, was. Oh, that would have been a PR nightmare. Right? Imagine. Yeah. Morty Shaw gets thrown off flight for That was such a Momo, pretzels. right? Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, right. That would be crazy. I don't know how do you re- how do you recover from that. I don't know. You I know, know like, like videos going. I feel, like, I feel like in our circles, most most of my fan base like they'd be okay with it. I think so. They take your side. Do I, you, I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be obnoxious. I really just. I I really hate the mask. Do you? I, I hate. I hate oh, it. Yeah. I hate it over my face. You did a lot of traveling then, also, you right? Know, and like on a plane, I'm like dehydrated. I can't breathe. I hate, I just, I don't enjoy wearing the mask. So. Well, Baruch Hashem, that's behind this, I think. Thank God. For most people. Yeah. Sometimes not. But um, I haven't, actually haven't flown since COVID. So last time I flew, I was wearing a mask. You fly a lot? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. You like flying? You like no, traveling? I like flying without a mask. Right. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Uh, you're a Muncie boy. So Muncie. You grew, you grew up in uh, the 845. You still have an 845 number. Why don't we just give up your number to the, to the entire public? Your number is 845. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure everyone has my number. Really? Yeah. I don't know. How did you I figure th- that out? So somebody pointed out to me a few years ago that my um, this podcast isn't supposed to be about me, right? It's like supposed to be about current events. <laughs> but uh, You're pretty current. It's I okay. think on my first video that I put out, Kol HaDerech, yeah. seven years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago. I don't know. You can, you can check that out. Just like pop it on the screen. Call it like, do you do that? In the audience, just like call it there. It's gonna pop up like right in my hand. Yeah, right. In, uh, put your hand in front of oh, your right, face. Right here, right yeah, here. Yeah, there, call there. it there. Boom. Whatever year that was, I wanted gigs, so I just <laughs> um, that's good. Here's my number. Reach out. And then as I started growing, and I put out you know schar mitzvah and machar and biachar and all these uh, whatever, I forgot that my number was on that call it there video, so. I took it down like recently. The number. Yeah. Took it down like a year ago. Nice. Yeah. So a lot of people have my so number. I, if you want Morty's number, just hit me up and I'll. Why go. didn't I switch it? Switch your number. You can't Fun switch your fact, number. You can't switch your number. I'm still on my dad's Verizon plan. Whoa. Yeah. That's a thing. That's he, a thing. Your father's still paying your phone bills. Um, I, th- I, I, I pay for it. I think. No, you don't. I do. <laughs> it's a long story. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, good for you. I don't know what that's about. It just is what it is. Am I also? I'm also. You're yeah. And you're making fun of me. How old are you? I don't know. <laughs> thirty three. Okay, so you're thirty three. Yeah. Is that young or old? No, you're younger than I thought. I mean, not because you look older, just because like right. I'm whatever. You're only 
five years older than me, six yeah, years older than me. Imagine how much I learned in those five years. Not to make your own phone plan. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that's really that's. We should get our own phone plans. That's, if we do anything today, it should be we should get our own. I phone think plans. it's just the thing that like you go to Verizon and you're like, how about Easy Pass? Do you have your own you Easy know, Pass? I have my own Easy Pass. Yeah. I didn't but I just got a new car and I didn't switch it. So now every time I go through, it doesn't like pick up my easy. But I keep getting bills from me Easy too. Pass. Me too. They say that we're so going to take annoying. your car away. We're going to actually take your car away. I'm like, and I switched my car on the app, but it didn't work. But I think the phone thing is like, you go into Verizon and you're like, I want to start a plan, you yeah. know, with me. And they're like, well, that's way more expensive than what you fit your family plan that your yeah. father started 40 years ago with Verizon. Exactly. So you're like, all right, forget it. Yeah. And I get, and first of all, I'm a sprint. So like, or T-Mobile now. Sprint? Sprint is merged with T-Mobile. So like, I would call, anytime, anytime I call them up, they'd be like, Mr. Gordon, you're a member for the last 33 years. You know, like, <laughs> here's the CEO. <laughs> you I, know, I, like. I used to make fun of uh, T-Mobile and Sprint users. Why? A lot more. Why? Because, I mean, do I have to say? You know what's so funny? Because anytime I would say that, I, I also use, use AOL still. Do you use AOL? That's not a thing. I have an AOL account. I don't use it, don't use it still. But I used to have an AOL. You don't have an AOL account? I haven't checked. You haven't checked. Maybe someone started. My AOL time. name used to be Shorte sixty. Shorte. Shorte. That was the shortest in my class. So I thought that oh, was you really were cute. Short. Like in fourth grade, when I fifth grade, when I made my my screen name. So that was your thing. That's cute. I was thinking maybe I should just start a podcast. It's so fun. Yeah. Like you just just look at Central Avenue with coffee or whatever Snapple you're drinking. It's so much fun. Are you drinking regular Snapple? You don't. Only regular Snapple. That's the like diet that Snapple is has such a waste of calories. Mm. That's not true. that not that you you know you call me fat okay. no i'm it's not okay. no but i'll you tell look you great thank you i appreciate it but the diet snapple has really bad chemicals like aspartame right. and yeah Splenda. sure i'll take the calories don't give me that stuff right because for some reason people believe that aspartame is worse than like a cup of sugar that you're drinking <laughs> You're drinking a cup of sugar. What are you drinking, Marty? Like, why did that what become you, a thing? Because I have like some siblings that yell at me about aspartame. Oh, so I have one Splenda a day in my coffee, and maybe a Diet Coke. Better that I drink like. You ever see these videos of how much sugar is in a Snapple? It's not normal, but a little bit of aspartame is going to give you cancer. You're adding me right now. I'm just saying. Anyway, um, so we were talking. I yeah. should start a podcast. I don't should. really know what what we can get away with on this thing, you know. But I guess we'll just keep it PG. Keep it PG as always. <laughs> so like, I think it's so important. And that's what we try to do with this platform with the Daily Threat specifically is to have conversations that most people don't have because it's like, is it too far? But like we do it in a way that like, it's not Lashonara. It's totally fine. We can say these things. We can talk about it. Like we can talk about ECAP right now. You know what ECAP is? Yeah, sure. Like, so you have 1200 from Yidin. I'm sure others also. Guys who are I have a couple know, of good friends there who, who flew down to ECAP for this. I think it's a nursing home, a real estate event, nursing homes. Nursing home and it's like, it's like a guy's weekend, you know, like everyone's down there and, and it's like a, it's like a thing. Like I, I, where was I yesterday? Someone was telling me how they had a friend in Florida that was trying to get into ECAP. They were, they were in Florida, but they didn't go down there for ECAP and he's hoping he could sneak in. But like a ticket is like thousands of dollars to get into ECAP. And, and it's like a club. It's like, you get the hat, it's got the logo and it's like, Everyone's like drooling over these rich people who've made it in nursing homes. And to me, I don't like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well said, man. <laughs> you don't like it. I don't. Nice. It's a it's queer culture. It's like, could we not be this guys club and like, and make it such a sprach? So I guess I have to play devil's. devil's you don't advocate. have to. You agree with me? Um, I think there's some truth to what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, just from some of the close friends that I spoke to, they said, uh, they get some, some work done and it's a party. <laughs> so the so, party part, so, like, yeah. So it, whatever it is, some guy put together this event. Is he, his first name is E? I don't know. Last he's probably cap? making no. a Parnosa from it, which is a good thing. Great idea. Have all these vendors and, and, and all these, uh, people in healthcare come together and meet and you know maybe in a setting that that they wouldn't naturally be able to do yeah you know just a mass amount of 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 um of suppliers and vendors and and owners and you know and and, and investors and they get together and they have fun 
and they yeah. meet and do some work. I'm not calling out every person that goes to ECAP. You know, like I'm sure there are people who go to ECAP and they go and, and they're working and they're making connections and it's important. But I'll tell you that there are, it gets a bad rap. The rap, the rap is people flying private to ECAP and, and like the rap is that you have some young guys who are like 22 who are making 60K and they're, they're spending a ton of money to try to get there and be part of that when like, A, you can't afford it. B, you're, you're like trying to bend over backwards to, to like show that you're part of something. I feel like, I feel like it's a stickle pressure to so be part of it. First of all, when you say rap, like, is that bad rep? Rep. Or rap? Rep- reputation. But so like it's, it's rep, right? No, but people say rap. Do they? Bad rap. Jamie. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you Google that. That's what you're here for. You're you're supposed. I feel like it should have been up already. <laughs> it should have been on the screen. Um, like on the screen. It's bad um, rep. A bad rep or rap? Okay, rap. anyway, yeah. moving on from that. Yeah, rap. Rap. R-A-P? Rap. Wow. Wow. So I feel like I I have to take the side of like because I'm a celebrity yeah and I have a lot of for those who are listening he just did air quotes right um thanks for that you're welcome um I feel like I just have a lot of people that hate just because whatever they hate us because they ain't us meaning they, you're hating yeah, on ECAP because you're not here they ain't us. I know I have a lot of awesome fans that like appreciate my story and where I came from and where I'm at and my mission. Um, by the way, so many people. I get feedback all the time from the Meaningful Minute yeah, interview. Yeah, people really, awesome. It was a really good time. really appreciated that. So like a, a side of me that maybe they they haven't seen, which I, I thank you for genuinely because most of my podcasts before that, I just wanted to be like this super fun bubbly guy and like yeah. look how happy I am. And I am. I am fun. I like to have a good time. But that was like a different, uh, a different, different more side. serious setting, which was which was cool. Uh, for me to be able to have that platform and for people to just see that side. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to hate on guys that are making money, you know, in no, nursing I, homes. I, not they're, at they're, all. they're no. hardworking, they're bright, they're, 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 they're just doing their thing, mm-hmm. you know? Should this be like a really lame event? It's 2023. Everything we do is, I mean, like, is every, next like, level. Like the local you, shul kiddish is next level. Why local shouldn't shul there? kiddish is. The beef jerky and the herring and, and it's like everything's out of control. So we can fight that, or we could just say, you know what, this is. It's a good point. This is the door that we live in, and many people do fight that, you know, in yeah. Lakewood and. I, I Lakewood fights that. Lakewood, Lakewood. Kedushim or like. No, 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 but yes, institutionally, they, you're saying. Institutionally, I saw like, I don't know if this was a joke or not. I saw like some Lakewood institution come out against like the beef jerky scuderie. But was was that a joke? No, I think it was a joke in response to the twenty four six Kolkari they put out. Oh, 24-6 wasn't a joke. That wasn't a joke. Okay, so we could talk about that for a minute. <laughs> it was very much not 24/6 a joke. 24-6 is a new platform that I'm a part of. Yeah. That's music, Jewish music podcasts. only. Yeah. Legit. When my kids are at, talking to Alexa and they want to play Jewish music, Alexa can't always pick up on uh, even Mordechai Shapiro. It is not yeah. so simple. I mean, I mean, Alexa and I are boys at this point. <laughs> but, like, there are some Jewish names that... L'chaim Tish. <laughs> right. What's that? You don't know yeah. what you don't know. Lachaim Tish is a Hasidic group um, that has awesome like Shabbos and and Purim music. You don't know what Alexa can pull up right. for your kids. Twenty four six only Jewish music. Beautiful platform. Spent millions of dollars. Bam. And you don't like that it was sort of they fun. come out and just lambasted. We discussed it on this program in depth. Oh, me so and my I dad. Wanna, you know, no, we, 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 we discussed it and we got a lot of feedback about it. And I spoke to Chaim. Chaim Good was great. Guy. Well, we were, we were in, it was both sides. We were in defense of it. Uh, obviously, I, th- I think that it's a great platform. And again, here's a guy who spent millions of dollars trying to create something that is going to give a, you know, safe access for our kids to enjoy something, you know? So, I felt like it was good, and to be honest, the whole thing blew over a bit already. I think he's he's going, he's good, right. um, but but like, uh, yeah, I don't know how. How do we get to we got to Kedusha? I think it's right. cool though, twenty four six, just because like I I I'm in the music industry, and right. I still don't know every song that's coming out. It's right, just like also they have these young old kids, music. old music, and and they always have like just a new 
the new stuff that comes out. And I'm like, yeah. oh, who's this guy? Let me to just me, like, listen. B- besides the new stuff, it's also the old stuff. The old stuff is like really cool that I get to, get to see. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to have my LinkedIn messages blow up from ECAP people saying I, I said something bad about them. I think that if you're going to LinkedIn, if you're going to ECAP and you're you're going for business. Call Kavod, you do you, amazing. If you're going to escape from your family for like six days and have a party and and uh, indulge in you know a bunch of stuff that maybe isn't stuff you shouldn't indulge in, they're not good for you. I think like anything else, there's a spectrum. Yeah, that's what life is all about. Just this spectrum, and and so what if somebody goes because like they really just need a break, a break, and it's kind of. I shouldn't say kind of. It's like yeah, but pretty so to, much a kosher from to setting. To be honest, though. With minyanim, with awesome breakfast, and maybe it's better than vacationing somewhere else. Maybe it's somebody, it maybe it's better than a guy who used to go to Vegas, and now he goes with a couple of Jews and davens three times a day and has some fat steak and, and does some business. I know, like, so I think it's all about, like, you know, this level. Yeah, somebody who goes just to leave his family, yeah, he's a, and, and for no other reason but to just drink and, 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 and vacation um and even that guy mate maybe he's not so bad because maybe he used to vacation somewhere else or maybe i'm just playing devil's advocate i don't know they, some people party 50 percent, work 50 percent. somebody it's 90 10 but everyone just gotta be honest with themselves everybody's mm-hmm. just yeah exactly and do you but like just just don't don't lie to yourself and be honest with yourself be real with yourself and and call it what it is that's it like if you're going for if you're going for a vacation tell your wife like i just need a couple days right don't say i'm going for work you come back like I just worked for four days when you're sitting at the beach. You know, just yeah. I chilled. Thank you for that. Fair enough. So, uh, Muncy boy, Rakan at Salah, a bystander, rescue young boy from an icy lake. I don't know if you ever did this, but supposedly a boy is lucky to be alive after ca- crashing through an ice covered lake into freezing water yesterday. Um, Rakan at Salah and Chaverim rescued this boy. Crazy. That is, n- uh, you, you ever walk on an ice lake, like an icy lake? I think maybe once and I was like really scared, but they said, like, no, this is like, this has got like, very very thick ice, um, Muncy Chaverim, and Hatzala. But I've I've actually you know called Chaverim a few times. They're amazing. They are like amazing. Yeah. I was driving with my parents once. I don't know why I was driving in the back seat of my parents' car. You were driving in the back seat. That's I wasn't wow. driving. What car I was, do you have? That? I was a passenger with my parents. Happy birthday to my dad, by the way. Today, seventy three years old. Wow, oh, and boy. happy birthday to my son. A B. Wow. Both of them Tesla and Shvat. No. Yeah. Really? Today. My that's, father's that's really nice. seventy three. Should live. So I have the same birthday as my grandfather also. Me. As Yud, your my grandfather, all of Sean. Cute. Yud Shvat. We both Oh, happy it's, birthday. It's, it was like a couple weeks ago. Yud Shvat was last week. Yud Shvat was last week. You don't know your Hebrew birthday. That we should talk about. I did. A it was a big Chabad. It was a big day. Yeah. The day the Rebbe took uh took leadership. Right. But what was I saying? Your grandfather and your 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 father and your son on the same birthday. You were driving in the back seat. Oh, I was driving in the back seat with my with my parents. Yeah, I think I had a gig and whatever it was, Muncie. I don't know. You want anyway, to drive you at you one in the, the yeah. morning? We got a flat tire. Javerim was there in three minutes, like Hatzala. Hmm. Uh, awesome. You know, you could sit in your car. Like AAA is like we'll be there within two hours, and like they'd never show up. Shame on AAA. Right. I could say that on this One on second. this thing. That you Nobody say. from AAA is going to hear me. AAA, you guys stink. <laughs> but who calls AAA still? Some people like some people have like the AAA card. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm a AAA member because they don't they don't have Chaverim all over the world. Like Chaverim right. is like Jewish communities. They have AAA over the world. You know, so yeah, yeah. Do people pay for AAA? Yeah, people pay for it. Yeah, it's terrible. Chaverim is awesome. Chaverim is yeah, and also in Muncie, Chaverim is like, is like, they are so much of a bigger deal than I think it is everywhere else. Like Chaverim and Muncie is like legit, right? Like you, you will call Chaverim before you call the cops, probably in Muncie, right? Or Shomer. Yeah, they got serious vests. <clears throat> yeah, you know, they light up. They light up. So they saved the kid from from That's this incredible. from this lake. <laughs> yeah, it says that. Um, it was too deep to get to land. The boy crashed through the ice and began floating in the freezing water. Oof. His life was at imminent risk as the body cannot handle such cold temperatures. Imagine it was freezing on Monday. Um, a bystander, a witness that was happening, called Atsala and he leapt into the water to save the child. Moments later, our bus driver stopped his packed school bus and joined in attempting to save the young boy's life. Atsala guys are lifeguards Hats- too? <laughs> that is not a thing, are they? Hatsala- you don't have to be a certified lifeguard to be an Atsala. Well, you- do you? 
I don't know if you have. I don't know. If, I don't think you have to know. I don't think they do um, swimming tests for ensemble members. No, but you know you have to know how to do CPR and stuff. That's like that. That's incredible. But can I make a point? This is very important. Yesterday I was driving home from the office. I'm kicking back a little bit. Sure. Yesterday I was driving home from the office. This is really this happened. Okay, I'm driving home. Corner of Rockaway Turnpike and Central Avenue. Hope I'm not violating any HIPAA laws right now because I guess the only person that this happened to have like that you you know who you are if you're listening to this 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 mother. It looked like she pulled over her car and her kid was choking. Like a, it looked like a three year old or something. Oy. And she was like, You hey, saw this? Yes. Hitting the kid's back. I didn't tell you. I know, right? Hitting the kid's back. Something was going on. And all of a sudden, like one of those meter maids, well, they stopped writing tickets for a second and they tried helping. Um, and then another Jewish guy ran over and he was on the phone. So I figured, okay, he's speaking to Atsala probably. But I pulled over. Um, and I was like, look, look at what's going on. Cause I used to be an EMT. Did you save this kid's life? Whatever. I, I don't like to be put myself in the limelight, but I literally, I'm kidding. No, I stayed in my car. Um, <laughs> I, terrible. I was looking and I texted one of my friends from Atala. I said, a, you know, corner of Rockway Turnpike and central. Did you get a call? He's like, no. Then I'm like, okay. If like no one, the guy's on the phone, like if he didn't call Atala, then maybe they got to figure it out. Cause it didn't look like it was like, cause it looked like it was like back and forth. Like trying to figure something out with this kid. So then I figured he called Atsala. So I kept, I got into my car, I kept driving. And then this guy from Atsala texted me. He's like, you know, you, you should have called. I said, what happened? Did, did they, someone call? He's like, yeah, they called in the end. And, and, you know, everything's under control. Everything's okay. I said, oh my God. He's like, but you never know who they're on the phone with. You got to call. If you see something, call Atsala. See something, say something. Literally. Like if you see, if you see something happen, don't assume that someone else there called already. Atsala is more than happy for you for, to get more than one call for something. Right. So that's it's important like you're driving by you know everyone's got to be alert see something i could have i could have called i could have done something but i didn't yeah shame on me shame on you unbelievable shame, shame on, on me um so yeah don't walk on ice kids it's it's never a good idea you don't want to end up uh on ishiva world <laughs> or in the hospital uh it's never good um there's another how are you doing so far are you good i'm pretty good yeah i'm you're chilling. chilling i'm relaxing okay good how's your latte it's pretty good. Yeah. Where's this from? Toddy's. Toddy's? I don't think Toddy's is Chalvi Israel, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm serious. Why is that so funny? Can we talk about Toddy's for a minute? Toddy's is the only Jewish, <laughs> the only Jewish kosher. <laughs> What's so funny, guys? You only you only drink Chalvi Israel? Yeah. You didn't specify that. I didn't think that I had to specify that. Look, I have payas. <laughs> oh my god! I'm a from Jew. I, I keep Chalvi so. Did you Let's ever talk about that's controversial? Did for you me. ever? Did you ever? Did you ever drink Holstam? Unbelievable! Did you ever drink Holstam? I can't believe I'm drinking. No, this. they have Chalvi straw. They have, of course they have Chalvi straw. Did you ever drink? Call Hol them. Let's get them on the phone right now. Okay, let's do. Is this. your milk and your coffee Chalvi straw? Oh God, this is gonna be something else. Um, I know that their cream cheese is not, and like their their cheeses are not. Okay. But maybe their milk is. You think they're gonna answer the phone? I feel like Toddy's is not. I'll call them. Wow, you guys did, are Toddy's guys. Uh, one second, it's right across the street. Second of all, did you ever drink Halfstam? Yeah, I grew up with Halfstam. Okay, so I didn't like just serve you pig. One second, let's. Oh God, put it on speaker. It's on speaker. Well, do... oh, oh, it's on speaker. It's on speaker. It's just no, it's not ringing yet. <laughs> you hear ringing? <laughs> you I hear? hear I heard it ringing too. <laughs> you hear ringing and something's wrong. Uh, just like Can you give me your phone. Hi. Oh hi, is is your milk coffee, Sarl? The what? The milk in the coffee. In the coffee. The milk, yes. Yeah, it is coffee, Sarl. That's what the Jewish guy said. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. You heard his answer, though. Is that's what the Jewish guy said? Like you've been working in a bagel, a kosher bagel store for how many years, and you don't know what coffee, Sarl is? Maybe he just started working there today. Oh, that was Ramon. Come on. Um, wow. Oh my gosh. That was, that all happened on camera. Thank God. Mrs. Life just flashed before his eyes. Wow. Thank God. Um, why don't more people keep club you strong? Let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah. I want to drop every other story we have for us today and we could just end off our, our conversation talking about, do you have any awesome stories or like, no, we could I, I just wanted to give a shout out to one person, Sam shirts who he donated a kidney yesterday. Yes, I saw Sam that. Fushlema, Fushlema, I mean, Sam. Incredible. Would you ever donate a kidney?
Guys, uh, I know. I want to paint you a picture. You go to one of these because it happened to me. I was in the white shul, davening, minding my own business. And they said, "Hey, could you swab for X and Y Z?" So I take the swab. I swab, and then I got a call. You're a match. Really? Yeah. And what'd you do? Change my name. <laughs> uh, no, I ended up. I ended up. And someone else was also a match, and that person was a better candidate. Um, if you were a match. And I feel they like said, you like, just made that the rest of that story up. No, I promise that happened. Um, but <laughs> I did. No, I promise. no, that happened. You're pointing at your bro. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> you right? Ever, you ever do that with your brother? You ever just like. I've swapped before. And you ever match? No. So if you were a match, they called you and said, we need a kidney. You're a match. What would you do? I don't know. I don't think I can make that decision until like the you have opportunity to is with. presented to me. Yeah, I would look, uh, you know, first of all, are there any ramifications for like singing, voice, breathing? I, I think there are none, right? Unless there as are. As far as I heard. If there were, then. Like if I couldn't sing the same? Is that person's life not more important than your singing career? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I hear that. No, I, first of all, I don't think there are any... Uh, I don't think people donate a kidney altruistically and like affect their breathing. I think it's very known that it's safe to donate a kidney. Like you you need one. And the concern is like... I have a really good friend who donated, kidney, donated a kidney a few months ago. Um and the recovery was intense. Yeah. So right. like I don't I don't just talkless, I don't know if I would ever have uh like a month to just take off right from gigs, you know? It's a lot. So that even though my February is pretty quiet. Nice. That's, that's why, why I'm here. That's why you're here. Yeah. I was yeah. just like driving around. My yeah. Let's like, do what, it. Should, what should I do today? <laughs> nah, he's like, You want to come on my podcast? I'm like, Thank God. Yeah, finally. I need something, something to, to do. do. Otherwise, I'd probably just eat Kalvi Stroll all day. Yeah. Like, I'm like, uh, Jewish singers. Your like, days are free? I'm like a senior citizen during the day. I'm like, Today, <laughs> I need to go to the post office. <laughs> and then I come home and relax. Well, Take good. off that's my amazing. shoes, put on my slippers. That's a really good lunch, call. Wait for the kids to come home. Maybe play that's some, my activity. Maybe play some tennis. You know? Yeah, it's cold out now. Yeah, post office. It's enough. Listen, I got in the car. Bingo. <laughs> no, not like that. But... <laughs> like that. Um, Chalvi Sorrel. I don't know why more people don't do Chalvi Sorrel. I don't know. Chalvi Sorrel. Yeah, I don't, I'm not. I'm around. Chabad. I'm, so I'm, I'm not a rabbi. To. I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know. And, and even if I quote Rav Moshe Feinstein, many people that know more than I do will contradict what I say. From what I understand, Rav Moshe Feinstein says that there's a heter for those who want to drink Chalvi Stam. If you have a, um, if you have a yeshiva or whatnot or a school in the middle of Yehovitzville and you cannot access Chalav Yisrael milk, mm -hmm. then you can use the, uh, you know, you could you could assume that the that the that the milk from the government is kosher because there's no right. mixing of 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 other types of animals and the milks. Like what they used to do back right, in the yeah, day, yeah. and you had to be sure that there was a Jew watching the whole process. And from what I've heard on the Chalvi Yisrael end, that some people that have been like mashkichim, I don't know if this is valid or not. That like that process is somewhat of a joke, also because like there's no other milk, so it's not like you really have like. But again, I, I don't want like I don't want to I don't want to get in the way of like all these you know, like golden Pesach flow and, and and all these Chalvi Yisrael brands. Let's hope that the Chalvi Yisrael means yeah. that there's an actual Jew watching the whole process. But I would like why pay, not? Why you, not? You go most away communities you can you could just get Chalvi Yisrael, so the milk spoils in a couple of days. Okay, right. Pesach hotels and Gabrox, non Gabrox. Like what happens in a in a non Gabrox place that some people eat Gabrox and they're like eating Gabrox on their dishes. So those dishes are now Gabrox. So I th I think people who care will ask. We'll stay home also. Either we'll stay no, home but or like even on even even a place that. Is non gabrux a hotel, right? Like we are non gabrux They're not serving gabrux but Yenem takes his matzah, dips it in his soup, so now that dish is gabrux Who who knows who's gonna get that dish next? Uh, that's a good question. I think if you're really is that mocked, dish now gabrux why not? Of course, it's as if you put if you take pig and you put it on a dish, is that dish tray? If it is, well, it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't know if those who are hold by non gabrux Assume that it's treif mamish. It's not, it's not treif, but it's gabrox, which to them on Pesach is like treif. It's a good question. I don't know. That's for a rabbi. That's for a rabbi. Yeah. Um, let's end off this episode giving a shout out to Ari Edinger. You told me to talk in the microphone, and you're literally you're you're, you're literally talking. 
You want to? Do you want to fight? The mic is in your neck. Do you I, wanna... Yeah, let's fight. Let's go. <laughs> Poor Mike. You're gonna throw, throw your half stone <laughs> coffee at me. Um, this kid, by the way, he is really talented. I think he was in Shell 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 Shell's Junior at one point. Was he? Yeah, he was. I didn't know that. He was. I saw I saw him for the first time when he did a cover of my Ashira. Ashira. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. kid is incredible. Okay, so so he, talented voice, but like. That didn't work. So that you're not playing my Ashira. You're just, <laughs> you're just playing something else. I mean, like, look how look at these strings. Like, look. How how talented do you have to be to do that? You play guitar? Yeah, I play guitar. Go off, Ari. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice. Yeah, he's good. He's really this, he's, he's special. I really love that he just like lean, he's leaning into it. Like he's got a whole studio set up. Like I don't know how old he is exactly, but but he's like going for it. He has a YouTube channel and he went to this, um, he went to this major guitarist concert. Like, I don't know his name, but it's on his YouTube channel. I saw that. And he got called up on stage to yeah. play. And you have like this kid in a white shirt, sits his yarmulke and he's like shredding in front of everybody. I saw and that. That was pretty cool. I, I really, listen, I, I hope he could just like be super successful and I hope he doesn't have to like, I hope he doesn't like go to life insurance or be a lawyer. And there's nothing wrong with those fields, but he has such a talent I hope he could be super much doing that. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the ceiling is for for those kind of guys. I, I think it's definitely tough. Um, you know, you said he was in Chalchelis uh, he Junior. Was. He, has, he has a really nice voice. I never heard him sing. He's I only see him for play. your job, Morty. So if he sings, then he does. I mean, it, it then the sky's the limit. Yeah, why not? Ari, go for it. Definitely. I mean, if if you could be a singer songwriter, like in America, we don't we. I mean, we have like Joey Newcomb, but there's there's always room for 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 more talent. Yeah, for sure. There's only especially that vibe and that genre. I feel like is it's really talent, popular. Yeah. It's a lot of talent yeah. today, talent, but it's also really popular. Like over the last few years, the Israeli guys coming into America, Ishai and Hanan and Akiva, Akiva and yeah. and all these guys that are just like singer songwriters, um, it's popular. So if yeah. we have you know a, a, an American. <laughs> American raised, go crazy, yeah. Singer songwriter, go for it. I'm putting out a video of a vlog from the Hass concert. I had an interview with Akiva there, and I asked him, and Akiva's English isn't like he won't mind me saying this. It's not good. It's not good, but but he can speak it. <laughs> Akiva, I love you're you, gonna bro. love this. I, people, I you, chilled with Akiva in Paris a few weeks okay. ago. We had a great time. Is he speaking French? No, we speak uh, My Hebrew is pretty good. Your Hebrew is pretty good. Yeah. And he was like practicing his English. I was sitting next to Itzik and we couldn't Better communicate. Better than Yishai's. Yishai has zero English. Itzik can't speak English. Itzik cannot speak any English. You've been in America for like so many times. Yeah. Not a word. And we're just like communicating with eyebrows. Like, mm. wait, a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do you speak Hebrew? No. Very no. Shame on you. I have to learn Hebrew. Shame on you to shame the Israelis for not knowing English. And I don't learn Hebrew. And you don't Hebrew. learn or care to learn Hebrew. I care. Legit. I care. You do not care. I care to learn. No, you don't. I care to learn. <laughs> <laughs> you do not care. If you cared. I would do it. You're saying? We run after things we care about. Could you teach me how to learn Hebrew? No, I just. <laughs> oh, thank you. It happens to be my manager in Israel is, is completely Israeli. He doesn't speak English. So, so when I go there for three, four, five days at a time uh, for shows, and he, you know, he takes me around and yeah. I hang out a lot with him. So my Hebrew is. But I lived in Israel for a while. Also, yeah, yeah. I worked with his whatever. But y y y sh way more shame on you for not knowing. I accept the master. Lashana Kodesh. Lashana Kodesh. Yeah. So I asked Akiva, could you tell something to you know the American audience or something they don't know about you? And this is what he goes. People have to watch this. You're gonna, he's like, I uh, I <laughs> last week I I ate a donut for the first time. I'm like <laughs> you ate a donut. Uh, Krispy Kreme. Like, you had a Krispy Kreme donut last week. Yeah, I'm like, 
Yeah, just put that in your Instagram bio. I'm a Kiva and I had a Krispy Kreme donut last week. <laughs> That's amazing. Week. And I was like, "Where?" Like that was that was his answer. I loved it. But I was like, "What?" That's amazing. And then he went on for. What more- did you want him to say? I I love you and thank you for your. You know what he said? He said like a. That's you know, amazing. That's authentic. I, Krispy yeah. Kreme. I had amazing. A, no, I haven't had Krispy time. Kreme. It's not called you saw. <laughs> he probably doesn't even know. Like, the Kiva probably doesn't thing. even know. But um, when I used to eat Krispy Kreme, uh, oh my god, like that, like last week, actually. <laughs> I don't, can I tell this story? Yeah, why not? I was on a Pesach program, uh-huh. um, which was, I think, like mostly Chal Vishal. Obviously, I ask. All the cream cheese and cheeses and yogurts and, and milks is Chal Vishal. But uh, Motse Pesach, uh, they have the Hamid's party. Mm. And um, I was in the room putting my baby to sleep, whatever. And um, <laughs> You want to flex? <laughs> my older kids went down. Scream it louder. <laughs> so I was, I was taking care of my my young one, yeah, and uh, my 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 older girls went down to the Hamid's party, and they they brought up these donuts, and uh, they brought up like a plate of them, and I just murdered this plate. <laughs> I mean, I murdered it, and uh, and I came down, and I saw a big Krispy Kreme sign when I got down. Oh wow, it's Khatasi. Oh Sham, Krispy wow. Kreme, yeah. You You're not sorry though about that one. You know what? By the was, way, I just want to say it's the most modoxing I heard today. <laughs> the word chametz party. <laughs> no, chametz party. What in bro, the I, what in the T neck is that? Nothing <laughs> <laughs> okay. wrong with modox. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the modox, and there's nothing wrong with T neck. T neck is modox and proud. Yes, <laughs> chametz party. <laughs> What's wrong with the chametz party? That's just very. Oh, my wife calls it Memune because she's Moroccan. Okay, so she's better. That's part of her heritage. Yeah. Hummus party is part of my her- heritage. Where'd you grow up? Muncie? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. I grew up in Muncie, but modern. Modern Orthodox. Okay, so that's that is modern Orthodox. We used to get party? pizza, high pizza. Line was out the door. Hummus party. No. Wait, can you just tell me what it's called? It's called eating hummus. Did you just have a chametz party because you had a coffee? That's chametz. Oh, you're saying I thought there was another like yeshivish name for no. it, like kedushim. No, like it's, it's, kedushim it's, chametz. <laughs> yeah, no. I used to. I grew up saying kiddishes. Kiddishes. Yeah, kiddishes. So the kiddishes. Kiddish. <laughs> kiddish times two. Guys, I'm having a kiddish in my house. If like, you, if you kiddish have or kiddish, if it's you? if it's Shabbos and you have two kiddish, kedushim. Never heard of that word in my life till about a year ago. Where did you go to high ago. school? MTA. Yeah. We say uh, kiddishes. I went to two kiddishes. Chometz they party. were they were they were they were awesome. Chometz and then people party. say kedushim, kedushim to you. I was like, what is kedushim? Mamleches I think that's where we end this episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks um, for this. Chometz this party. Like, okay, we're gonna have to talk about that off camera. If I get a ticket on my meter, which is up right now, you're paying for it. I got you. Don't worry. Deal. All right, everyone. Make sure to subscribe, like this show, and we'll see more at a different time. Sure. We'll continue this. Adiós.